We expect a gradual recovery in world merchandise trade volume in 2024 and 2025 after a contraction in 2023 that was driven mostly by the lingering effects of high energy prices and inflation in advanced economies, particularly in Europe. Specifically, we expect merchandise trade to grow by 2.6% in 2024 and 3.3% 3 .3 in 2025 after falling by 1.2% in 2023. However, the presence of numerous downside risks has added to the uncertainty that is inherent in all economic forecasts and especially trade forecasts. These include regional conflicts, geopolitical tensions, and economic policy uncertainty. In value terms, merchandise trade fell 5% in 2023 to 24.01 trillion US dollars, but the decline was mostly offset by a 9% increase in commercial services trade, which reached around 7.54 trillion US dollars. And then perhaps uh, some, some of my colleagues want to jump in and jump in and discuss specifically the effect on trade in the Middle East. But, but one thing that we see so far, um, uh, particularly with respect to the uh, tensions in the in the, in the Red Sea that, of course, directly affect international trade because they directly affect, affect the passage uh, through the Suez Canal. Um, it does, of course, have an effect on trade, and that's not surprising given that um, the Suez Canal is an important trade route. Uh, about one-third of container traffic between Asia and Europe go through the Suez Canal, I think something like 12 percent of global trade. And, of course, this is going to have an impact on international trade, particularly um, between uh, Asia and Europe. However, uh, so far, at least, it is our impression uh, that or our analysis suggests that this um, uh, trade effect is not so severe. And for it to become really severe, I think what would have to happen is uh, the crisis would have to escalate um, uh, and, and, and really start to affect energy markets. So we would have to see, you know, price spikes in oil and so on for this to, um, for this to um, unfold.